Okay, today is October 4th, 2019. 39 years ago today, I broke my neck in a college football game. I came up and I tried to deliver the big hit. And so as you, I swooped into him, I didn't get up my, my head up in time. And as our bodies collided, I broke my neck. And as I lay in the field, all I knew is I couldn't move and I couldn't feel anything. So I said, Doc, I broke my neck, am I paralyzed? And he said, yes. And I said, will I ever walk again? And he said, no. And I said, am I gonna live? And he said, I don't know. Uh, good morning, my friends. Frank Bice here from the Cranwell Foundation. Uh, I've been out of commission for a while. I've got a stage four pressure sore, so I uh, can't get out of bed for a while. But um, God is good. I've had a lot of great support. So all I have to say to everybody is thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm thankful to God for uh, keeping me alive because I want to get back up again. There's a lot I still want to do with my life. And I'm looking forward to the days ahead. Uh, good morning, my friends. Frank Vice here. I know these videos may seem a little freakish, but I'm in month four of being in bed. I've got uh, a monster of a pressure sore. Uh, but the good news is it's on the mend. Uh, hi, my friends. Merry Christmas on this uh, Christmas Eve. Um, I'm doing it in the evening, so it's a little dark in here. But uh, we have a lot to be grateful for at this Christmas. Uh, hi, my friends. Frank Bice here from the Cranwell Foundation. Beginning month six in bed. Uh, my sore is getting better, so uh, we'll be up before we know it. Uh, basically, uh, approaching month 12 in bed. Had little pockets of freedom. Got up in uh, September, didn't work out so well. November, not so good. Tried again in uh, April, struck out again. I had surgery on uh, June 7th, <clears throat> and it went pretty well. So I'm in rehab right now, and uh, <clears throat> getting better. Good morning, my friends. After a little over a year in bed, I'm back up. Got out of the hospital. And I'm in South Bend, Indiana. Our lady's looking over my shoulder. You can see the dome behind me. I'm here for the year. I think at this stage of my life, when people say they're inspired by me, I'm kind of shocked. You know, I, I, I don't really see that, but uh, it, when they say it, it makes me feel good. It feels like, it makes me feel like, wow, you know, maybe I am doing a decent job. But in my heart of hearts, I feel like I'm not even close to doing what I'm supposed to be doing or reaching my potential. You know, I just feel like I'm falling short. If I look at my whole life, I think it's been an amazing life, but it's not over. But the thing is, I've been paralyzed for 39 years, and things have miraculously worked out. And I'm starting to get proud of the fact that I've been paralyzed for this long. I consider it divine intervention that I'm still alive. And I, you know, I still have hope, and I, there's still a lot I want to do, you know? And so, uh, I'm, I'm happy being paralyzed, I just want to live. If I die before I'm 90, that's a failure. There's so much I want to do with my life right now. I want to teach and coach again. I want to, I want to, I want to prosper. You know I mean? I'd love to be in a great relationship. I'd like to inspire people to be courageous and do the best they can to reach heights they never dreamed possible in their own lives. And if I can inspire people to do that, that gets me fired up, like, you know, just setting people free. So many of us are trapped in our own little wor world, you know, negative words they've heard from their parents or limitations society puts on people, unhealthy thinking. I'd like to break all that. I'd like to help people just break through and, and live extraordinary lives. And I think anybody can do it. We can be locked into our physical experience and what, you know, kind of life hands us or we can get in touch with a transcendent power, who I call God, and we can figure out, you know, you know, we can try to look at our lives through the gift of life we've been given from God 
and that can set us free. You know, when I talk about faith, I don't want people to think I'm some kind of weirdo. You know, I have my faith, but I think faith can be believing in yourself. It can be a mindset, you know, and I think, you know, for anyone who finds himself in a situation that's overwhelming or bigger than themselves, try to find something to be grateful for. You know, find anything. Because if you can find something to be grateful for, it gives you hope. I mean, we all need hope. I think uh, hope is everything. You know, that's why I think faith is so closely linked to hope. Because if you have faith, you always have hope. Probably the most valuable lesson I've learned from injury is that you can change your reality by your thinking. You can actually change your reality by your thinking. My injury made me stronger. And my failures in my life made me stronger. So that's how I'd like to think of myself, better and stronger and really enthusiastic and hopeful and cheerful about the future. And so um, I'm, I'm convinced I'm going to get better. I'm going to achieve my goals. I'm grateful and uh, I'm going to do it. Yeah.